Welcome to Easy Maths. In this lesson, we're going to focus attention on the area of identity matrix. However, in the following other lessons, we're going to be, going to be looking at the determinant of a matrix and the inverse of a matrix, and also some examples of that nature. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and you'll be able to access uh, more videos that I've done in the past, even as uh, I intend to add more on the area of uh, matrices. Let's turn now to the identity matrix. Now, identity matrix normally is a um, square matrix whose leading main or principal diagonal has ones, and all other elements in the matrix are zeros. Example, examples would look like uh, this one here. We have for ones for the leading diagonal. This diagonal that goes from the first uh, element in the first row, first column, to the last row, last column element, all of those ones, they're having ones, and all other elements being zeros, the matrix becomes an identity matrix. It can also be a three by three matrix of this nature, or a four by four matrix, or even a bigger matrix. So long as the, mid, the main leading or principal diagonal has ones and all other elements are zeros, then it will be an identity matrix. Now, it's normally denoted by the letter I, but in uppercase, like this one here. Again, any multiplication of an identity matrix with another matrix gives, gives that particular matrix. Uh, for example, we have uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, which is a, an identity matrix of order 2 by 2, multiplied by the matrix A, B, C, D, or even the other way around, beginning with the A, B, C, D, multiplying with the same matrix here, the identity matrix, uh, 2 by 2 in identity matrix, the answer will simply be A, B, C, D. So in this case, therefore, an identity matrix behaves like 1. You see, 1 times a number x gives us x. No wonder it doesn't change anything, even in this case. An identity matrix pre or post multiplied by any matrix gives us the particular matrix that we had at the beginning. Now, we also represent this one using symbols like this. We have uh, I, M, and M, I is equals to M, meaning that identity matrix times matrix or a matrix times, times the identity matrix should give us the particular matrix. And that's what this statement means here. It's, that, it's the same thing that uh, this explanation here means. Moving on to some examples, we have the first question before us here, the matrix 2, 1, 4, 5. Now, if this one here is multiplied by 1, 0, 0, 1, it would look like this. You see, we have 2 times 1 giving us 2. We have 1 times 0 being 0. And 4 times 1 giving us 4. We have 5 times 0 giving us um, giving us 0. Again, we have 2 times 0 giving us 0. And 1 times 1 giving us 1. Then we have 4 times 0 giving us 0. And 5 times 1 giving us 5. And if you simplify this, you're going to get the matrix 2, 1, 4, 5. That explains the fact that multiplication of a matrix with an identity matrix will simply give us the matrix. And that's the example that I was trying to... Uh, that's, that example there tries to explain the same point I was trying to explain earlier here. Now, the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. This one, normally, we, we go about it this way. If you are given the matrix M, the determinant of M is given by... Now, consider if M is the matrix A, B, C, D, the determinant will simply be A, D minus B, C. So, det M, which is the determinant of the matrix M, is the multiplication of the, the product of elements in the leading diagonal minus the product of the elements in the other diagonal. And this is what we have there. Now, an example would go like this. We have the matrix that we had, 2, 1, 4, 5. The determinant will simply be 2 times 5 minus 4 times 1, and that would give us 6. That's pretty simple. The determinant is simply the product of the elements in the leading diagonal minus the product of the other elements in a 2 by 2 matrix. We're not going to deal with the matrix in the order 3 by 3 or even bigger uh, matrices. The last example, we have a 4, 3, negative 2, 6, and therefore the determinant will simply be 4 times 6 minus negative 2 times 3. And that gives us 30. And therefore, in this case, the determinant is 30. Please check out for the next part, which is now inverse of a matrix, and examples that have to do with looking for or determining the inverse of given matrices. And as always, please like, share, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.